What is the relationship between those two angles? What do we call those two angles right there? Alternate interior. Very good. Alternate because they're on opposite sides of our transversal and interior because they are inside of the parallel lines. So what's true about alternate interior? Are they the same? They are the same. So we set them equal to each other. 92 is equal to 6x plus 2. So then we just solve for x. Subtract 2 from both sides. We get 90 is equal to 6x. Divide by 6. Um, those are both, let's see, is it, huh? 15? Thank you. 15 is equal to x. Now again, let me reiterate. That is not the measure of that angle. That is just the value of x. What is the measure of this angle represented by 6x plus 2? 92. Okay, it's the same as the other angle. We're just solving for that variable there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at this one down here on the left. 5x plus 3 is the variable expression on the top. And 113 is the angle measure down there on the bottom. So what are those angles called? Corresponding. Corresponding. Perfect. Let me write that just so that you have that to reference. Can't hurt. Okay. Corresponding. Congruent. Okay. So these are also equal to each other. 5x plus 3 is equal to 113. <clears throat> so we subtract 3 from both sides. 5x is equal to 110. And so x is equal to 22. 22 nickels and a dollar and 10 cents. Just if you want to think about it that way. <clears throat> All right. How about the one here on the right? We've got 148 degrees on the top and 4x on the bottom. Alternate exterior. Good. They're on opposite sides of the transversal. They're outside of our parallel lines. Alternate exterior. So alternate, any of our alternate ones are equal. <clears throat> so 148 is equal to 4x. So what is 148 divided by 4? Thank you. 37. All right. Last example here. What do we call those two angles? Same side interior. They're on the same side of the transversal, and they're inside the parallel lines. What did we say about same side? They have the sum. Same side have the sum of 180. So x plus 82 plus x plus 112 is equal to 180. Add the two x's, so we get 2x. Add 82 and 112, that's 194. So we subtract 194. 2x is equal to negative 14. So divide by 2, x is equal to negative 7. Now let me make a note. We cannot have a negative angle measure, but again, this is not the angle measure. That is the value of the variable. Um, wait, that's... That's fine. It works. I was thinking they were supposed to be equal to each other. They're not. They add 180. Anyways, <clears throat> um, just for the sake of it, let's find out what those two angle measurements are just to check. Okay, so since we got negative 7, let's do negative 7 plus 82. So this angle is 75 degrees. And negative 7 plus 112. This angle is 105 degrees, and those two together do add to get 180. Okay, so that's one way that you can kind of check these problems. Is after you get that answer, plug it back in, find out those two angle measurements, and make sure they either match up 
or make sure that they do add to give 180 degrees. Okay, so let's take a few.